a good one. The teams take the field. The Tokyo Terminators take on the Cleveland Burns. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseshit buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. Must be their lucky day. The offense comes, and he punched his way out of that tackle. He's at the 10. Unbelievable. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same bloodmobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one. Well, that's the end of his day. Looks like he had a bad case of the worms. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn? Turner Grimm. The players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and seven. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and ten. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Second down and nine. Oh, that was a great throw and a great catch. Yeah, but, but it was an interception. Oh, yeah. Oh, with the punishing hit. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Looks like the deep hit reminded him. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. He 
he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the body toll can... Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. First and ten. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Well. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcome. It's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after trade win, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. <laughs> and like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football... Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. The league used to flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid, roided-out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolves. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. First and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Nicely done for a first down.
And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Third down and six. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... You just oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Whoa! Mama, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. And he's running like a moose right now. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Second down and long. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Ah, it's about time, Grim. Third down and long. And he picks up four on that passing catch. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. The defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And that'll bring up third and one. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. You've got to protect the ball better than that. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And the offense says, I don't think so. They called a time warp dirty trick and negate that previous play like it never happened. Did it? Uh, does that mean that I didn't just chug this beer too? Or wet myself? <laughs> I am so confused. 
about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third and four. The punishing hit. Well, I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just. Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. He's not going down. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. Rolling thunder and oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. The defense comes up with the ball. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. You can't keep a good mutant down. This guy's a brick shithouse. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Touchdown! <laughs> the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicking job in half? 
they just become it's good they need a good return here to set up the offense and that's a returnable ball returnable you mean he can get a refund for it no no bricks it means he can return it for you know what never mind with the brain screw. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. And it's first and ten. Throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And that'll bring up second and one. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Well, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. And it's first and ten. The defender's warp speed just kicked in. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. They're going for two points. The offense screwed up that play, Bricks. Had never had a chance, Grim. Never had a chance. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his I know I've said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First and ten. Now I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grin. You're right. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean that defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, did I kill him? Ah, another interception. Please, you give this guy a pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, 
Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room. And we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the halftime show. It's still anyone's game here as we start the third quarter. Oh, I missed it, Grim. I was out in the concourse grabbing some food, and there was this mutant leopard line, and he left in an angry huff. Why did he leave, Bricks? Well, people kept dipping their chips in. Oh, man. You know, they train those things to eat only visiting players, but when they're hungry, they'll eat anything. Yeah, sometimes I eat my toenails. So one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. A lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and the offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, man. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out! 
I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Man, humans are the best dancers. I wish I could move like that, Grim. And I wish you could just move. Your mom's had it smells like vodka in despair. Why do you always got to go there? Why, Junior? I'm a late bloomer. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! Man, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. Ah, another interception. Please, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You'd expect. Oh, what a brutal hit! And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> I know. I hate those zebra men. First down and less than a defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what if it... He refuses to... Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Don't worry. If he shocks you to death, maybe he can shock. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Third down and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. The punt goes into the end zone, and it's a touchback. And it's first and ten. Holy crap! He runs straight into a mutant trap and dies! Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. Second down and four. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third and four. His 
cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Here comes the defense. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And it's first and ten. to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Cliff. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten he broke free and has open field in front of him First and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this. Oh, with a brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. He scores! And here comes the extra point attempt. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. 
And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else. And he breaks away. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky. Ouch, that's got to hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Ah, this new QB, you don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarter, man, what a hit that was. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he, and he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. The, and they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. He's at the 10. No touchdown today. Looks like that defender ate his bleedies this morning. <laughs> And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. First and two. And at this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably having an it. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And the rumor is moving crazy fast. Look at the path he's taking up field. Yeah, he's taking the psychopath, Grim. Just make that up yourself. Oh. Yeah. Oh, pretty good. Oh, pretty good, Briggs. Thanks. <laughs> oh. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. And it's first and ten. This robot was a fake ATM machine stealing millions. Now he's scoring in front of millions. That's MFL football, folks. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay.
The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. And that's another turnover for the defense. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. First and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't almost throw interceptions, but when I do... You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I don't... And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... You just throw it to the guy in the same color jersey as you. You got it? Huh? If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. At this rate, the QB's going to have more interception. And he's running like a moose right now. Ouch! What is this? And he's wrestling? <laughs> goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's Matt's stupsing time. That's why the girls called me Speedy Gonzalez. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the... Th He's running out of gas now. He is fighting... Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown-saving tackle. Shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. trap second down and ten he could go all the way oh now the offense is getting kills ah uh, this is a really violent game guys it's bad lost their final quarterback. Lucky for them, they're on defense now or the game would be over. Uh, so all the other team has to do is pop the force of forfeit? That would be correct, Bricks. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up too? And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten it. Boom! left of the opposition and the fans are loving it.
There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...